All right. Well, I think it's time we lighten the mood here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech for AV Fridays and begin a new semi-regular segment we're going to have. Since coming back to making music using MIDI and my recording knowledge coming back, my pro audio stuff coming back, for the first time in a while, I'm having fun. That will infuriate the know-it-all experts. And I've been thinking about this for a couple of weeks and decided, you want to know, let's go with it. So, for our new semi-regular segment here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for AV Fridays, it's Guess That Track. Mixing consoles. Monitor and reference speakers. Effects and dynamics. Here at Old Mates Backyard Tech, it's Pro Audio time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to our new semi-regular segment for AV Fridays here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. Guess that track. Now, I, I sort of spoke about it in the coffee chat uploaded earlier. We're going to be covering as many genres as I think I can do. There are some music genres I can't do just because I'm not good, okay? Especially when you're talking about more of your rock, punk, metal, thrash type stuff. Disco and old school, I can do because that uses, you know, electronic instruments. But your your, your sort of your rock, pop, metal, so on and so forth, plus all their subgenres, that's a bit more tedious. I am also going to attempt to try and do rap, hip hop, so on and so forth. So the idea behind this is to see how good people's music knowledge is, all right? And for the for Old Mates Backyard Tech community, this could be quite fun for some of you. Today's Guess That Track. Now, I was going to do two tracks today. Unfortunately, though, the disco track I want to use, I cannot get it. I've been at it for a couple of days now, and I can't nail it. The metal track that we're going to do right now, though, I got that pretty easy. The funny thing is, I can't read music. All right? Can't read music to save myself. I use my ears. So, what I do is, I grab my beloved. Looks like an old 80s freaking ghetto blaster, this thing. My ever trusty preferred brand, there it is, Alesis V49 MIDI controller. Let me see all the lights on it. Look at all the lights it's got, eh? Even they light up. It's awesome. And what I've done with this metal track is grabbed one of my preferred VSTs, the Expand 2 VST, which is doing me wonders. i got to tell you, it is a phenomenal VSTi. The amount of stuff that's in it is off the charts. It, along with the ARP plug-in, the OB, OBXD plug-in I've got, can't get the 909 plug-in working, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, so what I do with these tracks is I, I play them off the Mac through the mixer and then use Cubase and the MIDI controller and a plug-in to try and match it. This metal track, the metal head should get this, right? But believe you me, it ain't Motorhead. It ain't Pantera, it ain't um, Metallica, it ain't Def Leppard, or any of that. This is a pretty hardcore metal group. It's not Tool either, by the way. Um, when it comes to metal, it's not Ramstein either. When it comes, to, I'm not a fan of metal, or any of metal's sub-genres hanging off the side. I'm not a fan of, you know, I do have a couple of metal tracks, but that's it. Actually, I only have two. One's this one, one's a Ramstein track. Although trying to do that, I don't even think I'm going to attempt to try and do that for our guessing game. So the idea behind this is to test people's music knowledge, all right? Comments in the section, you know the rules of the comments, and we'll see next week how many people got it. 
if I can do this other disco track, I'll try and get it out today, but I'm struggling. So, it is time for Guess That Track here at Old Mates. It is a metal track. Let me get the funky audio rerouting done, get into Mix Bus 32C7, and let's test people's music knowledge. All right, first off, straight into the mixer section of Mix Bus 32C7. We are panned hard left and right, straight out to the master bus, no EQ, and you'll also note none of the mix buses are on. First thing. Also, the compressors are off, the limiter's off and compressor's off on the master, and also no makeup gain anywhere. All right, so what I did is in Cubase mixed it down as a 16-bit 44.1 Redbook wave um, mix down. Okay, standard Pro Audio CD. Okay, um, if you're going out to say one of those HHB rack mounted CD burners out of Pro Tools, you'd use the I think Pro Tools uses Redbook. Harrison definitely uses Redbook, and I think Redbook's actually pretty damn good. All right, now when I mixed this down in Cubase, I did a real time mix down to reduce any errors in the mix down. Sometimes if you go with a non-real time, it may read ahead too far and you get out of whack a bit, okay? This is not a perfect version, but the metal heads out there should get this track. If you are a metal head, now as I said, it's not Motorhead, it's not Pantera, it's not Metallica, or um, Alice Cooper, or you know, if you want to go for hair metal, it's not Poison, it's not Def Leppard, it's none of that. This is a metal group. It's one of, I think, only two, maybe three metal tracks I have in my music collection. Okay? One of them is Dare Meister by Rammstein. I absolutely love that track, but it's the only metal track I've got from them. So, you may have to turn your volume up a bit. I've tried to match it as best as I can. Um, the problem I have with doing rock, pop, uh, punk, emo, metal, and all of those, is you try to mimic instruments, and I can't do it. EDM, on the other hand, I can, right? Electronic music is very easy. I struggle with this, but this track here, I've managed to almost get it, okay? So, guess this track. to get. The metal heads will know this. Okay. Now if you have to, rewind back. Alright, I'll, I'll put time codes and everything down the bottom. You can keep going over it. Guess that track. And we'll check back this time next week to see who got it right. All right? And as I said, we're going to be doing this semi-regularly. When I find something I can actually think I can actually do, okay, we'll do it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit this now. This is probably one of, like, I, I definitely can't do Ramstein's Dare Meister. I've got no hope of doing that. This track, though, I can just because of what it was, all right? So, Metalheads, come on. You should know that track. You should know that guitar riff, all right? Um, you're not allowed to cheat, all right? No shazamming. I know that the people will anyway. But try and be honest, okay? It's a bit of fun for AV Fridays here at Old Mates. We're going to do Guess That Track, and uh, we'll see how people... Uh, We'll see how people go with it. Now, as I said, when we do do it, the following Friday after we've actually put the guest that track out, we'll actually, um, that was a terrible fade, I apologize, timing's out. Um, we'll go back over those comments and we'll see who gets it right, okay? Um, there are a myriad of 
electronic tracks that I can probably do. The disco track I wanted to do today, there were three that I tried. I can't do it. I literally... I'm too slow. Okay, let me just turn that and that off because that's annoying the hell out of me. Um, I'm too slow to get it. One of the disco tracks is massive out of 1979. One of the most sampled guitar riffs you will ever see. I'm trying to do it and I can't do it. I'm just, my fingers are not quick enough. Okay, so let's know how you go. Guess that track, all right? A new semi-regular segment here at Old Mates for just for AV Fridays, all right? Just for AV Fridays. We're not going to do, um, you know, we're not going to do it through the week, all right? It's just during our AV Fridays here at Old Mates, or any, anyway. Now, um, if I can get this disco track out today, I will, but don't hold me to it because I'm struggling. Okay, before I, before you go on, if anyone says, oh, he's going to try and do Blondie's Heart of Glass, it ain't Blondie's Heart of Glass, mainly because I don't have that rolling drum machine. That, 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 that's impossible. That's a track. That, anyone who knows that track and knows the history behind it, which I do, it is so layered. It's just layered upon layered upon layered upon layered. It's, it's like... Uh, What's his name from ELO? You know, um, can't think of his name now. Um, oh, who's the lead singer of ELO? Oh, this is terrible. He was in the Travelling Wilburys. Um, Jeff Lynn. There we go, Jeff Lynn. I knew I'd get it. Um, when he did Don't... Uh, can't think of the name of the track now. It's not Mr. Blue Sky. Don't Let Me Down. That track's just layered upon layered upon layered upon layered, compressed and compressed and compressed and bigger and bigger. The track's going backwards. <laughs> um, but Heart of Glass by Blondie is, again, it's layered upon layered upon layered upon layered. You've got the drum machine in there. So it's not Heart of Glass. I'd have no... <laughs> I can't do that track. All right? But we'll be doing, you know, disco tracks, 80s tracks, 90s electronic music okay um i'm not gonna try and do meter at the love parade by dahul either dahul's version or nailing and kane's version because that's complicated i might be able to do it down the track but i can't do it at the moment anyway there we go guess that track it's a metal track and the metal head should know it anyway stick around we'll see what else crops up have a good one This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.